Hereditary renal cell carcinoma is a relatively rare condition. And historically, we've done genetic testing for this disease by matching a specific type of pathology, so a certain type of renal cell carcinoma, with a disease that it's associated with. And this works pretty well. However, we've learned now that several genetic conditions are associated with the same type of kidney cancer. And then we've also learned that some of the subtypes of kidney cancer are associated with many diseases. So AMBRI, we've designed this newer panel. It's one of our newest panels that we've launched that looks at 18 genes that are all associated with inherited forms of kidney cancer. Kidney cancer is one of the lesser common of the cancers that we test for here at AMBRI, and it's the seventh or eighth, depending on if you're a male or female, common cancer. Uh, and the average risk is relatively low for a person to develop the disease. Uh, one of the clues, if you're looking at a sporadic or not inherited form of cancer compared to the inherited form is if it's a solitary kidney cancer. So on just one kidney in one place, that's a typical sporadic cancer. Uh, something that's going to make you think it's more likely to be inherited is if it's multifocal. So you have multiple tumors or multiple spots of tumor in the same kidney, or if it's bilateral affecting both kidneys at the same time or at different times. And so many of the patients that we're recommending have renal next, have had multiple kidney cancers, they've had kidney cancer multiple times, or uh, they've had multiple relatives with the same disease. Historically, kidney cancer hasn't been a reason for a referral for genetic counseling or genetic testing. Many individuals, clinicians, patients, they don't associate kidney cancer with an inherited disease. And over the last 20 years, we've learned that that's really not the case. There's a lot of diseases that cause inherited kidney cancers. Some of these diseases, the only malignancy associated with the gene mutation is kidney cancer. Others have several malignancies that are associated. Uh, an example is Lynch syndrome. When we think of Lynch syndrome, we think of colon cancer and uterine cancer. We don't think of uh, kidney cancers. However, what if someone's adopted and they develop kidney cancer at 40? We really want to know that they have Lynch syndrome if that's the case for themselves and their family members. And if we don't do a test like Renal Next, we might never identify that mutation. So the panel's designed to look at 18 different genes that cause inherited forms of kidney cancer. So renal cell carcinoma is the most common type of kidney cancer, and that's why we've named the test Renal Next. Uh, all of these 18 genes, for the most part, are, are known. So we know what the guidelines are if we find a mutation. We know what the risks are to develop kidney cancer and other diseases. And having this information is really helpful for the patients and the clinicians at determining what is the most appropriate treatment, what is the most appropriate uh, way to prevent disease in the future, and who else in the family might be affected. So we're able to look at all 18 genes at the same time and determine what, if any, is the genetic cause of disease. Kidney cancers aren't as easy to report in a family. So if you have a patient who comes in and says, I have a family history of kidney cancer, uh, it's pretty hard to obtain those records to determine what's the subtype and then to go and test every known gene that's associated with the disease is gonna take a really long time and it's gonna take tens of thousands of dollars. So we had clinicians asking for this test. Uh, additionally, most of the genes on this panel either weren't clinically available before or they were only available at a few labs in the country. And so to really test a patient for all the known causes of kidney cancer, you might be sending samples to five or six different labs. And for convenience sake, we think having everything done at the same time at the same place is the best way to go. In all of our inherited cancer syndromes, knowing you have the disease, knowing you have the mutation is power. So no matter what the type of cancer is that you're at risk for, in this case, kidney cancer, physicians are able to help determine what's the most appropriate screening tool. So is it blood tests? Is it urine tests? Is it imaging like an MRI or a CAT scan that might help us detect a small lesion? The earlier we're able to identify a cancer, the earlier we're able to intervene. And in unaffected, healthy people, our goal is for them to stay unaffected and healthy as long as possible. And if we find a cancer, we would much rather it be a stage one cancer than a stage four cancer. And that's one of the goals of AMBRI is to find individuals who are at risk for cancer earlier and help prevent cancers and, in theory, save lives.